गाइस दिस इज अभिषेक फ्रॉम गैजिस्ट्री डॉट कॉम एंड टुडे वी आर हेयर एट द जोपो इवेंट हेयर इन न्यू दिल्ली एंड वी हैव अ न्यू फोन विद अस व्हिच इज कॉल्ड जोपो स्पीड सेवन दिस इज देयर फर्स्ट ऑफिशियल स्मार्टफोन व्हिच हैव बीन लॉन्च्ड एंड इट इज गोइंग टू बी अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट फॉर अ प्राइस ऑफ अप्रोक्सीमेटली थर्टीन थाउजेंड रुपीज एंड फॉर थर्टीन थाउजेंड रुपीज यू आर गेटिंग सम गुड हार्डवेयर स्पेक्स ऑन दिस वन विच इंक्लूड्स एन ऑक्टा कोर सी व्हिच इज द लेटेस्ट मीडिया टेक सिक्स सेवन फाइव थ्री अवेलेबल टू यू फॉर ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड रुपीज वी हैव गॉट थ्री जी ऑफ रैम सिक्सटीन जी ऑफ इंटरनल मेमरी वी विल जस्ट take a look over the box contents and we will find out how good this phone is in this quick review so as far as the build quality and design is concerned the design looks good not very different i would say but again it is looking nice on the edge we can see that we have shiny chrome plastic which does make this phone look good on the front we have got glass over there it does have the kind of protection you would need and at the back side we have got a plastic back cover which has got a slight texture over there and it is a matte finish back cover which is slightly curved from the edges so that you get a nice grip when you hold this phone in hand again the phone is not very heavy in terms of the weight it is very light and the camera which we have at the back side is a 13 megapixel auto focus camera which can record high definition video we have got led flash over there zopo branding over there and on the front we have got a 5 megapixel fixed focus camera the rear has got auto focus camera however both the cameras at the rear as well as at the front can record high definition video we have got an ips lcd display which does give you pretty good viewing angles and the display brightness is also nice we have got touch capacity button which are there within the display and this is how the phone look like from the front side again the phone display is not very reflective but it is slightly reflective which you can easily notice at the bottom we have got the micro usb port for data syncing and charging we have got a prime microphone hole over there and a little indent to remove the back cover here we have the loudspeaker at the back side and let me just remove the back cover to show you the phone from the back side so here we have the battery and again in terms of the battery department it has got a pretty good battery as well when we talk about the specification for the sim card we have got two sim card slot over there both will take normal size sim card and they do support 4g as well we do have a micro sd memory card slot as well so let's find out the battery specification how much battery is there we will just take a look over here so we have got a 2500 milliampere battery which should be able to give you around one day battery backup but it may not be sufficient for long term usage again this much of battery with 5 inch of high definition display should be able to give you around one day battery backup but not more than that as per the uh, as per the feedback which we have got as per the devices which we have got especially with this much of battery at the top you have got a 3.5 mod jack and on the front we have got nice metal gear piece over there the proximity enabled led sensors over there and both of these sim cards support 4g as well and the micro sd memory card which you can insert is going to be 32 gb maximum which you can insert and expand the storage you can also install applications on the micro sd memory card in case you would like to do that for the software aspect of this phone we have got a ui which is a custom ui running on top of android which is smooth and responsive initially we will test it later once we get this device for full review let's take a look over the internal settings and as you can see the notification center is quick to open and it is snappy as well let's find out the version of android first of all and we have got android 5.1 lollipop on this device which is good let me just come back and show you the storage information over there on the storage front we have got 16 gb of internal storage out of that 11.23 gb is available and out of that 10.03 gb is the actual available storage to the user we do have some application but you can always disable them but there is not much of a blot we're coming pre installed on this one as far as application which are coming pre installed you have all the regular application there are some extra application like popstar plus and other things but you can always get rid of these application by disabling them or you can also uninstall them at times let me just come back to settings and show you some more information of the device as far as internal configuration is concerned we will just find out the current status of the ram on the ram department this phone is quite special because we have got 3 gb of ram on this one out of that 2.3 gb is available to the user which is good so you have sufficient amount of ram ample amount of ram available on this device you can also play high definition games on this one let's take a look over the display settings and we will find out whether we have support for adaptive brightness so we do have support for adaptive brightness and we also have support for live wallpapers and video wallpapers are also supported in case you would like to install third party application you can actually set video wallpapers let me just find out the camera performance on this phone So here we have the camera UI. It has got the stock MediaTek camera UI, which we normally see on phones which are running on MediaTek chipset. So here we have the camera UI open. As you can see, you can take a look over the UI, and you can see that the colors are looking nice. Let me just take a photo right now in front of you. So it has taken this photo with flash. Let me just disable the flash first of all and take this photo. 
it does have support for HDR mode as well in case you are wondering so HDR mode is supported let me just take this photo again so we have just taken the photo And here we have the front camera photo. I would say the front camera is also doing a good job. In terms of the colors, it is doing good. And in terms of details, details are not that clear. I would say the photo is looking good, but in terms of details, it is not that great. But still for a camera, which is five megapixel, and when we have taken this photo, it was kind of against light scenario. You can see a lot of light coming from here still it has taken this selfie very nicely so here we have the messaging application on this one you can easily type on this device however swipe to type is not supported but the keyboard keys are pretty big and they give you a pop-up as well whenever you type so typing experience is good it does give you a vibration haptic feedback as well when you tap on these keys so this is all we have as far as the quick overview of the Zopo Speed 7. This looks like a decent phone, especially with this much amount of RAM this phone has. It can give you very good performance in day-to-day -day usage. And for gamers, it is going to be a good phone. It has got good hardware specification for that as well. You can play high-definition games like Asphalt 8, Modern Combat 5 as well, and other games which are graphic intensive. So all in all, this looks like a good phone. We will do a full review later on this is all we have as far as the quick overview is concerned do let me know if you have any specific question for this device we would love to help you you can like this video this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you